Today I have first impressions for you lot. This fragrance is coming from the house of Latafa and it is Ajayab Dubai. The black version. Let's do this. <laughs> What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. My name is Mikey Cologne and thank you very much for tuning in. That is right, today I have first impressions for you lot. But before I get going, if you do enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and press the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review at a later date. Got that out of the way and I have a code. If you're interested in any fragrances from the house of Unique Luxury, go onto their website have a browse, put what you fancy in your cart, and then to save 15%, put in the code Mikey-Kute23. That will give you 15% off your order. I earn no money, no commission. I don't get paid to do this. The code is for use lot to save a little bit of coin. Let's get going. Right, I done first impressions of a Jayab Dubai portrait last week, which is the white bottle. And I'm yet to do an update review on this fragrance. It is a nice fragrance. Great quality for what you pay. But anyway, this fragrance is called a Jayab Dubai. And that's it. So I don't know if I should be calling this a Jayab Dubai Black. But there you go. Let's get cracking. Waste none of your time. As per usual, we're going to rip it open. See what we get and then look up the notes. Latefa sticker up top to let you know that it's legit. And there is the box. 100 mil other perfume concentration. I got this on a website called SoGat in the UK and 22 pounds for 100 mil. If the fragrance is any good, that is a steal. Oh, here we go. Right. From the front, it looks like it's an all black bowl, but it isn't. Look, you can see the level of the juice and in the back of it's black. And then you have the cap with the name of the house on top. Lightweight caps. Let's spray it. Atomizers ain't bad. Right test strip and we're going on skin nice dark spicy color is dark right a couple of sprays and skin just see what we get oh man off skin that thing is strong on test strip, it's a little bit airy, not light, but just a little bit airy. On skin, that just tingled my nose. Right, I'm getting leather. I'm getting spice. I'm getting a very light touch of coffee. There is a little bit of, there is a, a very light touch of this fresh quality up top, but with this, the fragrance scent profile is dark. So there might be some type of citrus up top, which is sort of taming that opening a little bit. Chocolatey, chocolatey, leathery, coffee, spicy, a little bit sweet. To me, it's giving me um, Middle Eastern type vibes. Not oody, just the way that darkness is coming across or the way the fragrance is coming across. Right, now it's turning creamy. So this is like a creamy, at first it was like a dark roasted coffee. 
Now it's like a creamy latte or cappuccino with a drop in of, or a little drop of chocolate in it. The leather's now calmed down. It's smoothing out. This is a nice fragrance. That opening, I think, is gonna either put some people off or they're gonna love it. This might be a Marmite fragrance. You either love it or you hate it. This is not really, this hasn't got a mass appeal in DNA. This might be a required, or this might be an acquired taste. Right, on test strip, the spice is very soft. The chocolate is very muted and that coffee is, I mean, on skin it's light, but on test strip, it's like, there's like a snippet of coffee and that's it. Popcorn. Dark chocolate. This is, this is a little bit, not all over the place, but there's a bit going on all at once. Coffee, spice, chocolate. Right, let's look up the notes. It's nice, I'm just a little bit puzzled by it. I haven't smelled a fragrance that smells like this. So if you want something that's unique, this is your bag, I'm telling you. Right, we have pineapple and saffron up top. I am not getting no pineapple aroma at all. The saffron is probably the spice and that leathery quality. Coffee and violet leaves in the mid and in the base is butterscotch, sandalwood and vanilla. I'm not getting anything vanilla. I didn't know it was butterscotch. To me, it's coming across smelling like chocolatey popcorn. That is what I'm getting. Maybe the violet leaf and that pineapple was pushing a little bit of freshness into the fragrance. Violet leaf can go metallic. Here it isn't. To me, it's just adding a little bit of freshness into the fragrance. The coffee, this is not an overly strong coffee fragrance like it's present but it's dialed way down that coffee is it's like it's sitting in the back i think this is a pleasant fragrance and the reason why i think it is because i genuinely think the fragrance smells good but i enjoy coffee fragrances as well so i enjoy i enjoy coffee fragrances as well i can't get my words out yeah it's nice it is nice if I was to rate it, I would give it a 7 out of 10. It's not the best fragrance that I've smelt. The quality isn't bad either. I didn't really get no alcohol blast when this first opened up, but on skin, it did tickle my nose hairs a little bit. Like, I wanted to go like that, but then I held it together. But no, it's a pleasant fragrance. Nothing to um, scream and jump, nothing to scream and shout about but it's a pleasant fragrance. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my first impressions on a Jayab Dubai. I'm just gonna call it a Jayab Dubai Black because it seems weird just, just a Jayab Dubai when this one's called Portrait and this has no name. So I'm just gonna call it a Jayab Dubai Black. First impressions, not bad at all. I'm gonna do an update review on this fragrance soon. This is a very nice fragrance. To me, straight off the bat, this is more masculine. This is more unisex, but that is a review for a later date. Right, ladies and gentlemen, have you tried any of these two? If you have tried this, what do you think of it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. I will always get back to you. And remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will see you lot on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.